Welcome to Heaven Awaits. If this is your first time checking this channel out, I'm glad to have you here. My name is Lee, and together with Jen, we narrate the near-death experiences of those who have died and have seen the other side. My videos are meant to bring hope to a sometimes hopeless world and show people that there is life after death. If you enjoy these videos, please consider hitting the thumbs up, subscribe and bell icons to be notified of new content. Doing so is free, and it does help the channel grow. To my returning viewers, I'm glad to have you back. I have two stories for you guys today. Both are pretty short, so I'll let you all listen, without providing a synopsis this time. Get comfortable, grab a cup of coffee or tea, and let's dive into today's narration. When I was about four or five years old, I went to a swimming pool with the children of my kindergarten class. I jumped into the deep side of the pool, but I couldn't swim. I immediately sank. I was scared and tried to move my hands and feet to go up. My head surfaced for a short moment. I wanted to scream for help, but then I was pulled back down again. I then swirled again with my hands and feet trying to come back up again. Then I could see from above my body how my teacher was swimming towards me. She pulled me out and put me on the floor. All the children had been standing around. I didn't think about anything and didn't feel any sadness, fear, or bliss. Unfortunately, I also didn't see relatives or other light beings. I also didn't see a tunnel or anything else that others describe. I only watched while I was out of body, that's all. When I was asked why I couldn't swim, I always talked about the event at the time. Nobody ever asked how I could see this from above. It never occurred to me to ask about it either. It was only after my brother died three years ago that I started to deal with the topic of death. I came across the topic of NDE, and then I remembered my own experience. Two months ago, I called the kindergarten where I went to school to see if I could get in touch with my teacher. She could not help me. I wanted so much to hear from her to see if this happened in the way I remembered it. I'm 100% sure, but I would like to have it confirmed. I also remember that up until the age of 10 years old, I had a ghost friend. I could see and hear him. I told him to leave so I can't see or hear him anymore. Moving on to our second experience of today. The year was 2017 and I was in the hospital to have a tumor removed from my brain. The doctors put me under and during the surgery, I left my body and saw the tunnel of light. I was sucked in and I was standing on the side of a road that had grassy fields on one side and on the other side was a cliff that had a beach down below near the ocean. On that road, I saw a car in the distance and as it came closer, it was a 1962 Oldsmobile Starfire convertible that was dark green with a dark burgundy interior. I knew it was my grandpa's car. The driver was soon coming into focus. As the car got closer, I realized it was my grandpa who died six years earlier, and he was no longer in his 80s, but he looked like he was in his mid-20s. He told me to hop in, and I did. He drove around the road till it reached the beach down below and said to me, It's not your time to go yet, but in 30 years we will meet again. After he said that, everything went black, and I had a falling sensation. I was back in my body in the hospital room. The doctors told me they almost lost me, but I was able to pull through. I wonder what my grandpa meant by, in 30 years we will meet again. Will it be a one-way trip, or will I be able to come back here again afterward? That is my story. That does it for both of our experiences today. I apologize for the shortness. Anyway, until next time, stay safe and continue to be blessed. Time to thank those who were kind enough to donate to the channel either through Super Thanks or by buying me a coffee. Let's get started. S.H., Mr. Jerry Max, Jennifer Andrews, and Chevre Show. Thank you all for your kindness, and thank everyone who continues to watch my videos.